Okay, Manta, wish you a happy, lovely, fluffy day with oodles and oodles and oodles of sprinkles! Ginger boy. And just keep in mind up here. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very lucky not to be working. If I was working, then I'd be working, and then I'd be tired. Oh, we're having a wonderful time as a family. I've moved the laptop from the living room, which has no heating. Well, the house has no heating. Only individual rooms have heating. So I'm spending most of my time in the bedroom with Ellie and baby Rock Soap. Or oh, actually, I think I like Rock Soap better. And when we want to go to the toilet, it's bloody freezing. We almost have to put a coat on to go to the toilet because it gets so cold in there. Um, so... So yeah, we're spending a lot of time together and it's, you know, it's wonderful. Probably one of the best things I did. I should never have kept the laptop in the living room. I should have had it in the bedroom all the time. But it does get a little bit too warm for me in there. And I like to be in a colder room. And it was also very good for the laptop. But now I've had the fan cleaned on the laptop. There was like a, a carpet, a layer of carpet behind the fan. So that's been cleaned up now and it looks great sounds great, works great, so I can have it in the hot room and it works. Everything that I wear is full of sick, well it's baby milk too when it comes out. <laughs> Everything has got sick on it, on the shoulder. <sighs> I've not been out for a few days, maybe a week, uh, besides going to the local shop to buy bread. Uh, baby's now uh, able to lie on his belly with his head to the side and his arms stretched out in front like a frog and today was the first time that he was able to lift his head and shake it like this it's really cool he's also started to smile quite randomly not because we're going coo -choo -coo -choo -coo -choo -coo, but because he wants to smile and it's not a matter of wind I kind of know the difference between wind and a smile I'm seeing as it's the fifth week is when smiling does actually start we go for a hepatitis B injection next week. I've got the syringe in our fridge waiting to go to the paediatrician. Uh, she's a bit of a snaggle tooth. <laughs> snaggle. <laughs> Lots of teeth are missing. Um, we think that she scared the baby the first time we went because he was poorly for two days. Rock ginger. Yeah, I say rock ginger, you know what I'm talking about, right? My father's been poorly for about 15 years now, mainly with arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and another arthritis and, and a couple of other things along the way that, you know, elderly people pick up and uh, uh, he was diagnosed with cancer about a year ago, uh, which is why we actually have a son because we sent Ellie over to England to come and be with us for his final moments. Anyway, there was no final moments and just a couple of weeks ago he was diagnosed with now the, there is no lung cancer it's called vasculitis rheumatoid uh, vasculitis I believe and uh, so he's been very poorly and seeing as the baby was born over here in Bulgaria he's not had the opportunity to see him and now we you know we have Skype and uh, I can be found under jet prop serve and uh, my dad bought a camera, uh, or my mum bought it for him, and now we're able to Skype, and yesterday was the first time we were able to Skype, and uh, so he got to see my son for the first time, And but the problem is he's, he's poorly, and he's got uh, low oxygen levels in his, in his going to his brain, and he wanted to go to the toilet, he got up and he, he had another fall, and he spent the day in the hospital, he's back home now. Uh, but I can I can tell that he's not very well. Uh, but at the end of this month I should be going seeing him uh, because I need to get back to England to go to work. 
Uh, the money's running out very quickly now, and well, he can't live without money. But we've had a, Ellie and I have had a, a long discussion, and it's possible that we might go to England together this year, uh, most likely. So we've been looking at the cost of renting a, a house or an apartment, uh, furnished or unfurnished, as long as we can get a washing machine and a kettle and a microwave. That should be enough, really, I think. Um, so we're going to look into doing that. There's going to be a lot of information we'll have to find out before we can do that. Or well, actually. I think I like rock soap better. What I do know is that uh, because Ellie is a Bulgarian national, she is allowed to go long term, uh, six to eight, six months to a year, to England uh, because she is the wife of a British uh, subject. And uh, but my biggest worry is is the health. So because England is a free health service, uh, she'd have to sign on to the health service. Uh, but it's possible that. Um, Obviously, we'd have to tell the Bulgarian Health Service that she's going. She'd have to collect a document from them. She'd also have to tell the border guards would also uh, need to be told that she's going to be leaving Bulgaria for long term, or at least six months to a year. Uh, and also, there is baby's health, uh, because they still need a paediatrician. You know, we've we found with talking to members of the family that although I, I know most most of this information anyway because I you know, and I come and go. Uh the cost of living in England is very high. Uh you know, for just to rent a house is from four hundred pounds, then you've got your bills on top. Uh with minimum bills you're looking at uh, five hundred and seventy pounds per month. And that's if you don't get any kind of social help. Whether whether we would be able to get any social help like family tax credits or whether we'll be able to get uh, child child benefits, child tax credit, working tax credits. If we're actually able to get those, I don't know unless we can go. You can go on the website to go and check it out, but the information is just a little bit too confusing for me, to be honest. And there's so much of it to try and understand. And then to top it off, I've got a niece who's now turning 19. She's got six months left to go in school, and she also wants to go to England. She wants to be a doctor, but before she can become a doctor, she needs to earn money to be able to support herself to stay in the student student quarters. Because at the minute, she's working in a bar and studying, and she only earns enough money to be able to live in student accommodation and feed herself. She doesn't have any money to be able to do anything else, never mind travel. So if we rent a house over in England, she'll be able to stay with us, and we'll try and get her some kind of work to be able to save up and uh, then go off to school. Okay, Mum, to wish you a happy, lovely, fluffy day with oodles and oodles and oodles of spring!